Hey guys, my name is Marcel. I'm a bartender in New York City and I lost my job because of the coronavirus. I'm taking these videos because uh, I want to teach you how to make some delicious and simple drinks at home. Uh, yesterday we made Irish coffee. Uh, as I showed you, you can actually pre-batch it and storage it in the fridge. This is what I was doing and now I'm gonna enjoy it while making this drink, okay? So, thank you so much for your positive reactions. Uh, it really motivates me to go forward. And some of you asked me to make a couple of drinks. There was a daiquiri, there was mojito, cosmopolitan. I will make all of those, but today we're gonna make cosmopolitan, right? I'm sure I will make a lot of girls happy because it's a girl drink, right? Okay, so there is some history. Uh, it started probably in the 70s, 80s, in a couple of cities, San Francisco, Minneapolis, and New York, of course. Uh, but why is Cosmos, so when, when it got so popular, of course it was because of that show Sex in the City, where four girls, every time they were chatting about their sexual relationships or other relationships, they always ordered Cosmopolitan. Uh, so what are we gonna need for Cosmo? We need vodka, you can have a, just a regular vodka or a lemon vodka. We need a cranberry juice, we need an orange liquor. Uh, you can use a triple sec, but of course Quantro is better, but also uh, a lot more expensive. And we're gonna need some uh, fresh squeezed lime juice. Fresh squeezed, always a lot better. Um, what kind of glass we gonna use? So the original is a martini glass, but you can actually use any of these glasses that I have displayed here, like a coupe glass or Nick and Nora, or just like an open coupe, they all make a job for you. Um, so, we're gonna build our drink in the shaker because it needs shake. Uh, if you don't have shaker, you can use two glasses. If you have a plastic one, that'd be awesome. Put them together, shake it, or you can actually use this type of a bottle and shake it inside and then just strain it into, into the glass. It's gonna work perfectly for you. Um, all right, so we're gonna start with the lime juice. So let's squeeze fresh lime juice. I'm gonna go with a 0.75. Okay, this was like 0.5, so I need a little bit more. Go with the cranberry juice up to you guys like i normally do 0.75 so we balance it with the with the lime but if you want it sweeter of course you can use you can use a lot more then i go with 0.5 of the orange orange liquor and then 1.5 ounces of the of the vodka Take a little sip of that coffee before we shake. Okay. Mm. Yeah, delicious. Okay, so we need some ice. And now we're gonna give it a nice shake, at least 10 seconds. And what is this? But it's extremely important to use a chilled glass for any like a martini style drink. So I have my chilled glass here. So before you guys start, put your glass in the freezer, leave it there for five minutes. And it looks cool, but it also keeps your drink perfectly chilled. Okay, see that beautiful pink color, that's exactly how it should look like. And now, uh, garnish. So I normally garnish it with the peel of lemon, 
Some bartenders say, oh, that's kind of weird because there's no lemon in, inside of the drink. No, it always worked for me perfectly. Some bartenders, they garnish it with the peel of orange. And other bartenders, they put like a lime wedge or a lime wheel. I'm gonna do a lime wheel this time because my wife likes it with a lime wheel. And she's gonna drink this one. So this is for my customer, my wife. All right, so here we go. Okay, so this is a beautiful cosmopolitan. I hope you will like it. Guys, feel free to ask me any questions again. Uh, it really helps. Um, so enjoy this. Have a great Sunday evening and cheers.